direction cosines and direction ratios. For calculating the geographic relationship between surface objects and latitude-longitude coordinates, present several problems. And one is forced to use the conventional ellipsoidal trigonometry involving the transcendental functions such as sine, cosine and arctangent. This can adversely affect performance. And once the direction cosines for an object are computed, subsequent calculations of spatial relationships do not require use of transcendental functions. Instead, these calculations are carried out using a vector algebra. In a three-dimensional coordinate system, consider a position vector OP of point P denoted by R. This vector makes an angle alpha with the positive direction of x-axis, makes an angle beta with the positive direction of y-axis, and makes an angle gamma with the positive direction of z-axis. Angles made by the vector with positive directions of x, y, and z-axis are called direction angles of the vector. Direction cosines are the cosines of the angles between the line and the coordinate axis. Cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma, denoted by L, M, and N, respectively, are direction cosines of OP. With the help of some simple mathematical operations, one can find out the sum of squares of all three direction cosines always remain one. And if there exist A, B, C such that, then A, B, C are known as direction ratios and L, M, N are corresponding direction cosines and one can also find the relation between direction cosines and direction ratios through some simple derivation. Now, if someone wants to find direction ratios of a line joining two points P and Q, one can consider imaginary coordinate axes parallel to the original ones at any point P or Q and can find the direction cosines similar to the previous one. 